one there, it's dyed from Refurbies. And in today's video, we're going to be making over a beautiful old carry pine dresser or buffet, whatever you like to call it, sideboard. And the products that we're using are all available to purchase in our store at refurbies.com.au. So if you like what we do, stay tuned to see what we come up with. exactly sure how old this is I think it's been redone a couple of times and I'm not sure what condition it's gonna be in once I take the sander to it I do believe she's a lot older than she looks though yeah I think it's been redone several times over the years these drawer pulls aren't original. You can see that they've been replaced. And you look at the, I mean, this is a solid timber drawer. The bottom's not even ply. If you can see how thick that is. These aren't new. I mean, these are new rather, they're not original. There was a key at one stage, but it's been replaced with these little clipper things. So yeah, I think she's a lot older than she looks. We've just taken one drawer pull off and it looks like we've had three sets of drawer pulls on here.
once I'd finished with the painting, I turned my attention back to the top of this dresser. It's old cowrie pine, and just like you'd expect to see in old cowrie pine, it has a lot of watermarks, a lot of stains, some old wormhole marks, and all sorts of things. Anyway, I did try to bleach this with a number of products. None of them worked very well at all, so I won't even bother telling you about it. But I decided to just get back in there and try and get them off with the sander. I also decided that I'd try and disguise them as best as I could. Not, not too much. I, I sort of came to the conclusion that it would look lovely with all that history on it. But I did want it to look like a nice smooth top. So I hid it with a bit of, bit of stain. But we'll show you that next. Okay, so finished sanding. And the first stain I'm going to use is Driftwood by Purico. This is exactly what it says, exactly as the name suggests. It's a driftwood looking kind of stain. The idea is I'm going to pop this on and pop another colour over the top and just try and blend a little until it all kind of matches. So next I'll pop on some Whisper, which is Purico's white stain. And yeah, so we're just we're just really trying to hide those darker marks just a little bit, not completely. I think it'd be impossible to hide them completely, but a little bit. And then once that's dry, I decided that I liked it a bit more towards the driftwood colour side. So I hit it again with another coat of driftwood and then we went ahead and put some top coat on. The top coat I'm using today is a gloss top coat by Purico and I'll apply this with the applicator sponge. I'll probably do two or three coats depending on how well it sits and I'll lightly sand in between each coat with 240 grit and then once that top's finished I'm going to move on and do something special to the doors. This piece actually sold while I was still working on it. A client popped over to pick up some paint and while she was there she saw this beautiful buffet that I was working on and she fell in love with it and also wanted me to add a little something extra to the doors. So she picked out a, a lovely transfer called White Magnolia by Redesign with Prima and I applied this to the two door fronts and when I was finished it turned out beautiful so it was a great suggestion from the client to pop that on there. I was really happy with how they turned out so I'll get these on and then we'll do the reveal. Here's just a quick little flashback to what we started with. We updated all the hardware, gave us some paint and some love, and here she is now.